Hey y'all, Irix guy here, and I must admit I'm surprised and I'm excited and I didn't expect this at all, especially from a company like Parrot. So what I'm going to do within this video, and by the way, I've ordered mine, stay tuned for my Parrot Anafi unboxing, field test, and other videos too here on Irix Guys Adventure Channel, youtube.com forward slash Irix guy. And also, if you're looking to pick up the Parrot, Parrot Anafi, Check the link within this video's description, expand this video's description, or just go to my website, epicdroneshow.com, and you can find it there. But what I'm going to do within this video, and, and again, if you haven't watched my videos before, I encourage you to subscribe, check them out. I've been flying drones since Phantom 1. Uh, I'm obsessed with drones. And, you know, I did fly the, um, the Parrot Bebop version 1, and that drone, unfortunately they had a great idea but they failed to execute as well as their competitors. Parrot Bebop didn't have gimbal this that and the other. But now here comes the Parrot Anafi and here's why I'm excited and here's why I ordered mine. So I'm going to tell you first of all it's got the 4K HDR camera. <clears throat> now initially when I see that I think oh 4K HDR I think two buzzwords but then I scroll down within the specs and I find that it's a Sony sensor. This camera that I'm filming this video with is a Sony sensor. I love Sony. Sony is so good with saturation. So that got me excited. That was one of the big sales. <clears throat> the other one, and I don't care about the noise, but there's a lot of people with the Mavic Air that have complained about the noise. And I'll admit the Mavic Air sounds like a swarm of bees. It doesn't bother me. I'm not trying to perform any sort of covert recreational missions. I'm just out having a good time in safe and responsible locations so it doesn't bother me. But that has bothered a lot of people. Uh, something that, and again, I haven't received my parrot of Amafi or Anafi, however you pronounce it, haven't received it yet, so I'm, I'm basing this upon specs, but it says that it's very quiet. And then also something that we have not seen in a DJI Phantom or a DJI Mavic Pro or a DJI Mavic Air at least yet is a zoom camera. This drone features 2.8x lossless zoom. So that is, that is pretty cool. And it touts a 25 minute flight time. You know, again, to be tested in the field as soon as mine arrives. Now, obviously, we mentioned the 4K HDR video, the 21 megapixel camera, Sony camera, Sony sensor. I cannot reiterate how important that is to me. Three axis image stabilization. And it does. It says, Anafi is the first drone to feature a 180 degree tilt gimbal, capturing unprecedented shots from emittable angles. Up to 2.8x lossless zoom. And I bet that 2.8x is probably limited to 1080p. I'm going to scroll down the specs and see. Uh, it records at 100 megabits per second bit rate, which that's great. It'll do cinema 4K 17 by 9. That's pretty cool. It says, yeah, HDR is there. Um, and the specs it lists is a 21 megapixel Sony sensor, wide angle f2.4, a spherical lens. f2.4, that's nice. Uh, 35 millimeter focal length, 35 millimeter focal length equivalent, 23 to 69 millimeter for photo, 26 to 78 millimeter for video. It's nice. 26 isn't super wide. Now, you know the wide, but the wide, widest lens I currently use for my Sony Alpha camera on the ground is only a 25 millimeter. So that's 25 mil, one millimeter wider than this. So that's that's not a big deal. Uh, let's see what else on here. And again, I'm I'm looking at this based upon my years of experience with drones, and I'm sharing with you what excites me on paper. And I mean, what I can't wait to get this thing out in the field. I can't wait to get out of the box, get it out in the field, see how it performs. So yeah, they're talking about the zoom again, 1.4x zoom in 4K, but 2.8x. I mean, one point yeah, 1.4x in 4K. 2.8x in full HD. So that's still cool though that you've got a zoom capability. And then they're touting the ultra portable nature. 
Now here's what's cool, and here is what could potentially really hurt DJI. This drone offers USB-C, USB-C is in Charlie, charging on the go charging system. So think about that, the convenience of recharging by way of USB-C. No longer have the need for a charging hub at home, no longer have the need for a car charger. Let's take you some battery banks. Recharge it off of that. Stick it into your car's USB port. Charge it off of that. Stick it into your computer's USB port. Charge it off of that. Stick it into a USB wall jack and charge it off of that. This is something that I've been begging for. And maybe DJI, I mean, maybe Parrot was watching my DJI Mavic Air videos and, and hearing me say and preach over and over how important USB charging is. And Parrot seems to have listened. And it says, designed with passion in Paris. So this is, you know, you got that Eiffel Tower over there in Paris. This is, this is where that was designed. It doesn't say it's where it's made. It just says it's where it was designed. It says, light and robust. The carbon fibers of the structure are charged with empty glass microbeads that are filled with air and resist bumps and knocks. Due to this innovative material, the drone weighs a mere 320 grams. 320 grams. Let's see, 320 grams. Let's convert this. So that would be grams to pounds. Grams to pounds. Let's see what this comes out to. I said 320 grams. Whoa, so that's 0 .705. A little bit over half a pound. That's pretty light. Makes me question how in the real world is this Peridonafi going to handle the wind? It says collapsible drone unfolds in less than three seconds and fits in most bags and pockets. It comes with a tiny and portable Sky Controller 3. I don't know if you remember, if you haven't watched them in a while, check out my Parrot Bebop videos with the Sky Controller and that massive thing. That was what was so funny. Again, the Parrot Bebop, Parrot had an idea, but they executed poorly. They didn't give it a gimbal. They gave you this tiny drone, but it really couldn't handle the wind that well. And then they gave you this huge Sky Controller, which completely negated the positive aspects of the tiny drone. But in this, it looks like they've gotten things right. They've got a small drone, a small controller, and USB-C recharging capability. Let's see what else it's got here. It's got, uh, I'm just, you know, I'm just looking through the stuff that excites me here. It says, new transmission system. Each drone leg contains a dual band antenna, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. So it sounds like Wi-Fi to me. Improving HD video streaming and the piloting experience up to 2.5 miles away. Now, obviously, I will fly line of sight to be safe and responsible, uh, but it'll be interesting to see how well both the controls and the FPV, the first-person view, hold up throughout that visual line of sight range, or radius, I should say. Uh, let's see. The controller looks really nice. I, I like the way that the smartphone goes on top of the controller. Uh, that was one minor complaint, but obviously my Ma I love the Mavic Air. And I mean, I, I absolutely, without a doubt, the best drone on the market today is the Mavic Air, in my opinion. Again, I haven't tested the, uh, the Parrot Anafi yet, but as soon as I get mine, you'll see it. You know, no bias out in the field, taking it out of the box before I go to the field. Hey, look at this. This is what it is. This is how it feels. This is what it smells like. This is how it performs. You know, there's, there's no, no sugar coating on this channel. And I'm thrilled to see a brand that I thought was just going to go the way of the dodo bird. Because Parrot, you know, they, they had an idea with Bebop and, and they didn't execute well at all. And then they came out with a glorified Bebop. They called it Bebop 2, still executed poorly. But now they've innovated. And, and I mean, this could be. This could be Parrot's big break. 
I mean, DJI needs competition. DJ, DJI deserves a capable competitor. And I think that's what we may, again, I'm basing this off of specs alone. And as we know, or as we should know, anytime that something is watched in a video, you read about it on a magazine, a blog, or whatever, until you get that product in your hands, and until you've had time, sufficient amount of time to play with that product, to try to, to try to figure out what will fail with that product in a safe and responsible way, until you've really had your hands all around that product, one's unable to make to, to uh, state any sort of honest opinion. And that's where this channel comes in because the unboxing, the field test, I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna take it out there and you're gonna be right there with me virtually, you know, watching the camera, watching the videos on YouTube. Something that looks really cool, it's got a feature called Movie Director with Unique Dolly Zoom Effect. So they've got this, this uh, flight mode that does a dolly zoom. So that, that ought to be neat, you know, in, incorporating zoom with, uh, with artificial intelligence. That, that's that's kind, of, uh, kind of cool. Of course, it's got a follow me mode. Um, let's see. I'll be curious once I get this to test that to see if it's follow, if it's visual like DJI Active Track, or if it's uh, following the controller or following some sort of device. I don't know. To be tested. Yeah, it says take cinematic shots like never before. You got dolly zoom, boomerang, orbit, tornado, and parabola. So it sounds like they're you know they're. They're definitely trying to go after Mavic Air. I mean, Mavic Air, without a doubt, the best drone on the market today. But the specs on paper for this doohickey, it looks good. I mean, I, I, have, I had given up. I had totally given up on Parrot. You know, I, I was afraid that, that they had failed. You know, they were a toy company, and they, they tried to enter the drone space, and they failed. But this came out of nowhere. I mean, this was such a hush-hush announcement. It came out of nowhere, but you know, learning what I've learned about drones from Phantom 1 through present, and again, check out all my videos, Phantom 1, Phantom 2, Phantom 2 Vision Plus, Phantom 3 Pro, Phantom 4, Phantom 4 Pro, Mavic Pro, and now the Mavic Air, and soon we will see the, uh, the Anafi here. And I, I mean, this is, it just gets me excited and I know this is going to be an uphill battle for Parrot because it's uh, that's that's all the that's the high level stuff. But it's going to be an uphill battle for Parrot because unfortunately Parrot they've it's one of those deals. It's kind of like the once somebody cries wolf a lot, it's hard to believe them. And in Parrot's case, they kept releasing things that just that didn't impress. And I think now they've realized that, you know, they are a design company. And I've always admired Paris Design. I thought on the Bebop, I mean, I love the form factor of that drone. I hated that it didn't have a gimbal. And I thought that the way that the battery mounted to the top of the, of the uh, Bebop with a glorified piece of, of, uh, of Velcro was kind of, that wasn't an attention, that wasn't the type of attention to detail that I would expect from an innovator. But I think now, you know, this truly could be something great. Again, I'm basing this off of specs on paper, but Sony sensor, 4K video, zoom, lightweight, USB-C recharging capabilities with a gimbal, and the design looks nice. It looks easy to, you know, to travel with, and I like the way the controller looks. It all looks great on paper. So, I mean, this could be, this could become the next big thing. Now, one thing to keep things fair a lot of you that are watching this have probably become spoiled by the uh, DJI Go app. You know, it's just a great app in my opinion, and it's, uh, excuse me, it's reliable, and it's gotten better and better. That is probably going to be a pain point with this new Parrot drone out of the box, is that, you know, well, you know, we've, we've gotten where our designs, design team, we've created something that looks cool. And it doesn't look like a ripoff. There's some other brands out there, and I don't—I hate to bash, but you know the ones I'm talking about, the ones that are trying to make things look like a Phantom or look like a Mavic Pro. And this looks different. 
I mean, it definitely doesn't have or doesn't seem to suggest that they tried to reverse engineer, reverse engineer DJI's DNA. I mean, it looks new. It looks unique. And, you know, I, I pat Parrot on the back for that. I mean, good job, guys. Good job. Great job. So this could be a game changer. And it's not necessarily going to be a game changer out of the gates. I mean, it's not going to be, oh, Parrot releases a new drone, and this drone's actually good. This drone's actually excellent. I think even if the market perceives this drone exceptionally well, Parrot's still going to have some catching up to do with DJI. But what it should do, it should kick DJI into high gear, especially if this drone impresses. I mean, we saw DJI get the shakes when GoPro was about to release Karma. And then that quickly went away because Karma failed, unfortunately. And I hate that for GoPro. I love GoPro, but going public killed GoPro. So Parrot can potentially do now what GoPro should have done, and that's create real competition for DJI. And again, I love DJI. Mavic Air is my favorite drone on the market today. But despite my love for that product, I love competition more. And this type of competition could really shake things up. Potentially we could see uh, more innovative drones. We could see newer drones release more quickly. We could see price wars. And for hobbyists, I mean, this is an expensive hobby. But if you get more people in the pot and they're serious competitors of one another, things can really get interesting. So this is going to be exciting. I mean, I am... You can probably tell I'm excited by watching this video. I am beyond excited, and it's not one of those things. It's like, well, you know, I should get that, or, you know, maybe I should get that. I don't know. I mean, Paris released some other things. What was it, that thing with the wings or whatever, <laughs> fixed wing? I mean, there's some things that I didn't even, you know, look at, give a second glance. Just like the Phantom 4 Pro version 2.0 from DJI. What's that, a mild refresh? Didn't even bat an eye at that, but this... This got my attention, and I really loved the very quiet unveiling of this. It wasn't, it wasn't something that was pumped up, and, you know, we've seen other drones that, that have failed in the past, and, and they had this big marketing campaign. They had these snazzy videos, these, these uh, you know, insert whatever there, and it was just a piece of junk. But this, I feel, can really be great. And, and I love, you know, what... What really sold me on it, beyond the USB-C recharging capability, was the fact that they were touting that Sony camera, and the fact that, uh, that, I mean, it just looks nice, and it has a gimbal, and we're not dealing with that silly software uh, video stabilization like we had with the Parrot Bebop 1 and Parrot Bebop 2, and it's extremely portable. So this could be a game changer. And think about it, with a USB rechargeable battery, and reported up to 25 minutes of flying time, unless you're flying back to back, I mean, you take a battery bank, a few battery banks with you out in the field, top that sucker off, and then fly after it recharges. Take you a little solar panel out in the field, top your battery bank off, then charge your, your uh, parrot with the, with the battery bank. So it opens up the opportunity for, uh, for off-the-grid uh, off recharging. And that's something I've got to check, too. I haven't really dug into the specs super deeply. I've looked at the stuff I'm interested in. Be curious to see if the controller is also rechargeable by way of USB-C. I'm, I'm assuming it probably would be, but, but that, would, that would be bad if it wasn't, if you could just recharge a drone off the grid and, and not the controller. But super excited. Again, if you haven't subscribed, stay tuned. Uh, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned, rather, youtube.com forward slash irixguy. As soon as my new parrot arrives, you're going to see it out of the box. You're going to see it in the field. And there's not going to be any of this fluff and all of this over-editing and blah, blah, blah. It's going to be a real-world experience, just like it is with all my drones. Appreciate your viewership, and, and I hope you share the excitement that I share for this new product, for this potential competition for DJI. And again, check the link within this video's description. Expand this video's description, and you can find where to order this parrot drone as well as other drones and accessories too. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. 
It's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow. Thank you.